Happy Sunday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, June 23rd. Sunday, you pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. Cards are for all of us. And if you are a June 23rd baby, I will do a reading for you next. All right, so if you did pick card number one, you have the Seven of Swords. All right, I just feel here you're going to be more, if you're keeping more to yourself, um, you're silent maybe, or there are so certain aspects that you're keeping things to yourself, you're not very expressive. This is a good time to analyze, uh, research, so you could be doing some research. Time alone is important as well. Trust your intuition, trust where you're being led, so I do see that energy. All right, if you pick card number two, you have a major arcana of the strength card. So this is a day where I do feel you're going to see reap the rewards of the hard work that you put in. Um, you're kind of willing to change things around. You could be the mediator is what I'm feeling. Um, or you're kind of, kind of keeping an even keel with things. A wish fulfillment is coming through and happiness. You're looking at your long term. Um, you know, you're looking at like the future and, um, this is your perseverance, your diligence that is going to bring you some very strong, sustainable results. It's like you're um, want to invest something in your future. So whatever you do invest in, it is going to come to fruition. It's going to be really, um, prosperous is what I'm seeing. You're making some kind of investments for the future and it's a yes answer. It's a wish fulfillment too, and but you're assessing things and it's assessing things and making decisions. If you pick card number three, you have the um, the tower card. So this is an important day for you. It's a major arcana, and it is the tower. Today, someone may get you angry. Today, there could be a crisis situation, but it's going to clear the way. I do see people's situations or could be leaving your life. You could be very, very angry or um, very defensive. Um, so I do see that. You could make some sudden impulsive changes. Um, and so I wouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You know, try to cool down and make some important decisions. This could be just um, people around you as well. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be you. But there's definitely going to be some change. And I do feel it could be a little bit... Um, intense. So I do feel that energy. Okay. When I'm looking at all of this, this is like, um, we are processing our feelings. Compromise, love, caring, and sharing is very important today. Could be dealing with a, a group of people. We could be manifesting things for good or for bad. This is the energy of change. I do see people could uh, throw some wrenches in our ways today too. Uh, some of us could be set off, um, like, um, these are setbacks, um, temptation, maybe um, bad habits. So be careful of that energy too, because there is a karmic energy here too. So we could be dealing with that. Um, people could be judging us. We could be judging things too. So be careful of that energy. But some of us, um, we're just kind of a breakthrough. There's an inner calling here. We're, call we're starting a new phase here. So I do feel that there's a sense of purging going on too. Okay. All right. So that is the reading for today. Uh, June 23rd, Sunday. Have a fabulous Sunday. Happy birthday if you're born today, June 23rd. This is your solar, your theme, and that is your wish card. All right, your solar, your theme is the Ten of Swords. Does not mean the whole year is going to be like this, okay? What it does indicate here is you're going to be processing things. What hurt you? Who hurt you? Who? What went wrong? Where did you feel defeated? Where did you feel that you um, didn't accomplish something? So it's a mix of feelings here. It is a year where you're going to pick up the pieces and you're, it's a fresh start and you're going to start over again. So you're going to have to, you're going to be learning to balance some things in your life. Um, there is going to be some multiple priorities that you're going to have to kind of weigh out your options. For some of you, you may be um, savings this year for something, or this is also um, a, a second source of income. Your time management is in question here. How are you going to manage your time? You need to be very adaptable to the changes around you this year and balancing out and weighing out decisions carefully. You could be um, plagued with indecisiveness at times, making difficult decisions, but weighing out options is going to help you. Avoidance is not going to clear the elephant in the room, though. All right. Um, so I do feel that energy. You may be dealing with a Capricorn and a Libra coming into play this year, too. So I do feel that energy. I do feel also travel is going to be important. Um, there could be travel plans being made. 
Uh, messages are going to be important too. You can manifest things really quickly. You may have to think on your feet sometimes, but there will be some good news coming up. You may start some kind of um, side uh, business or you could start an online business. You will have some sudden changes and uh, things beyond your control and then things are going to, it's clearing the way for you. Um, options and decisions, future plans are coming up too. And then you're going to realize that you, the world is your oyster. You have a lot of possibilities um, ahead of you as well. Okay, divine timing is at play too. And your wish for your solar year is the queen of wands. I do feel this wish is a maybe because it comes with a choice or delay. It's a maybe for the solar year. Okay, um, important numbers for your solar year. Definitely the number two. Eight. 14, definitely the number two, 222, 22 also. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond, and bye for now.